In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NBA games happening on April 19, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Chicago Bulls vs. Miami Heat The upcoming game is an Eastern Conference play-in matchup, determining the eighth seed who will advance to face the Boston Celtics in the first round. Meanwhile, the losing team will bid farewell to their season as they leave South Beach. This Friday night showdown features the ninth-seeded Chicago Bulls visiting the eighth-seeded Miami Heat. Chicago secured a convincing 131-116 victory over the tenth-seeded Atlanta Hawks in their initial play-in game on Wednesday, surpassing expectations as a three-point favorite. On the other side, Miami narrowly fell 105-104 to to the seventh-seeded Philadelphia 76ers on Wednesday, but they managed to cover the spread as five-and-a-half-point underdogs. In their historical regular season matchups, the Bulls hold a slight 65-64 to lead over the Heat. This season, the team split their four encounters, with the Heat claiming a 118-116 to victory in their most recent meeting on December 16, 2023. Looking at their playoff history, the Bulls have won four out of the seven playoff series against the Heat, boasting an 18-13 lead in head-to-head -head playoff victories. Notably, in the most recent playoff matchup last season, the Heat defeated the Bulls 102-91 in the play-in tournament. Both teams are facing injury concerns ahead of this critical game. For the Bulls, most of their injury issues have been persistent throughout the season, with the exception of Caruso, who struggled after returning to the court following an injury from Drummond. On the Miami side, they might be missing key scorers such as Butler, Rozier, and Robinson. Despite Butler's presence, in their recent game against the 76ers, Miami's offense faltered, and without their top players, they could face even greater challenges creating scoring opportunities. Motivation is a driving factor for the Bulls entering this play-in final. Last year, the Heat snatched a victory from the Bulls' grasp during the play-in tournament, denying them a playoff spot. This season, the Bulls appear determined and focused, especially against the backdrop of their prior disappointment in South Beach. Losing Butler would be a substantial blow for the Heat, as he is a cornerstone of their team. His absence could significantly impact their offensive dynamics, potentially shifting the advantage towards the Bulls. Adebayo will likely play a pivotal role if Butler is sidelined, while DeRozan and White will lead Chicago's offensive charge, with key players potentially absent for the Heat and the mental state of the team after their loss in Philadelphia. Miami Miami faces an uphill battle. Moreover, the Bulls hold a recent edge over the Heat, and they possess significant size advantages with Vucevic and Drummond. Nonetheless, the absence of Caruso for the Bulls adds an element of uncertainty. Fueled by the desire to avenge last year's missed opportunity, the Chicago Bulls' money line is our full game side pick. Anticipating a revenge victory for the Bulls, they are likely to prevail and advance to face the Celtics in the next round. Considering the history between these teams this season, the over-under bet has hit in three out of four games, particularly exceeding the total in both games played in Miami. The Bulls, known for their offensive prowess, will exploit matchups against weaker defenders on the Heat roster, potentially leading to a higher scoring affair than anticipated. Miami's defense, although strong, might struggle to contain the Bulls' offensive firepower, especially especially if Butler is not at full strength. The Bulls will adopt a strategic approach, aiming to exploit mismatches and capitalize on their scoring opportunities. Expect a fast-paced game from the Bulls, similar to how the 76ers adjusted against Miami's defensive scheme. This proactive style could push the game's pace. While Miami aims to keep the game's tempo low, the Bulls will likely drive the scoring higher, potentially pushing the total over the expected threshold. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. 
Sacramento Kings vs. New Orleans Pelicans. The final position in the first round of the Western Conference playoffs is at stake as the Sacramento Kings head to New Orleans to take on the New Orleans Pelicans. The winner of this matchup will progress to face the one-seed Oklahoma City in a best-of-seven series. Sacramento earned their spot here by convincingly defeating Golden State at home in the 9-of-10 game, winning 118-94 as three-and-a-half point underdogs. Conversely, New Orleans secured their place in this game after losing the 7-of-8 matchup to the Lakers 110 to 106 despite being one and a half point favorites at home these teams faced off five times during the regular season, with New Orleans emerging victorious in all five encounters. Following an impressive 24-point victory over the Golden State Warriors on Tuesday night, the Sacramento Kings now have one final hurdle to clear against the Pelicans in New Orleans on Friday to advance to the playoffs' first round, where they'll face the awaiting Oklahoma City Thunder. On the other side, the Pelicans aim to bounce back after losing not only their play-in game against the Lakers, but also losing star player Zion Williamson who exited Tuesday's game late in the fourth quarter due to a hamstring injury. Williamson will be unavailable for Friday's game and is slated for re-evaluation in two weeks. Before leaving Tuesday's game, Williamson left a significant mark, scoring a game-high 40 points along with 11 rebounds and 5 assists. With Williamson ruled out, the point spread for this game has shifted, with the Pelicans initially favored at home but now listed as underdogs. New Orleans holds the NBA's best record against the spread as underdogs this season at 20-11-1, winning 18 of those 32 games outright. Interestingly, the Pelicans were underdogs in all five games against the Kings this season but managed a perfect 5-0 straight-up record, with four of those wins by at least a 10-point margin. Notably, the Pelicans secured a convincing 133-100 win over a healthy Kings team on January 7th when Williamson was sidelined due to a right quad contusion. These two teams clashed five times this season, with the Pelicans emerging victorious in all encounters. They also covered the spread in each of these games, averaging a staggering plus 19.2 margin over the five-game stretch. It has been dominant performances by New Orleans in these matchups. This game promises intrigue as the Kings have struggled recently due to injuries to Werder and Monk. Meanwhile, the Pelicans will be missing Zion Williamson due to a hamstring injury. Although the Pelicans' injury situation appears more significant, they have won their last five games against the Kings, including a 12-point victory last week as one-and-a-half-point underdogs. Overall, the Pelicans have won eight of their last ten games against the Kings. The home court advantage is crucial, and I believe a combination of McCollum and Ingram is sufficient to overcome a depleted Kings team that can be inconsistent. While Zion Williamson's injury complicates New Orleans' playoff prospects, I still anticipate they will prevail against Sacramento on Friday night. Let's not overanalyze this matchup. New Orleans holds a significant head-to-head -head advantage and benefits from playing at home. Therefore, the New Orleans Pelicans' money line is our full game side pick. Both teams fell short of the total in their first play in games, but Las Vegas may have set the bar too low this time. The over-under total for New Orleans was 224.5, and, and for Sacramento, it was 222.5. With Zion out, some points will undoubtedly be off the board, but the Pelicans can substitute another scorer in Trey Murphy III, who closed the season with three consecutive games scoring 24 or more points. However, Murphy isn't known for his defensive prowess, which could impact New Orleans, particularly on the defensive end where they lose an active rebounder and physical presence inside. Despite their injuries, the Kings managed to score 118 points in their last game, making 18 three-pointers, significantly more than the sharpshooting Warriors. Sacramento possesses the fourth-fastest offensive pace in the league and will look to exploit the Pelicans' depth issues. Ultimately, I doubt Sacramento's defense can contain the scoring enough to keep the total low. They rank 21st in defensive efficiency, allowing 113 points per 100 possessions. Conversely, both teams boast potent offenses, with New Orleans ranking 8th and Sacramento 13th. This total seems too conservative for today's NBA, even during the playoffs. In the postseason, defenses tend to tighten up, but will they really tighten up enough to keep the score under 211 points? I doubt it. None of the five regular season matchups between these teams saw fewer than 211 points, with an average of 237 points per game. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.